Hey everyone, so welcome to my channel. It's Heather with Heather's Heart. And it's been a while since I've posted because I was really sick for um, a couple of weeks. I was helping take care of my landlady's house and pets while she was in the hospital with COVID and then I got sick. Um, and I'm doing much better now, but anyway, it's been a minute. So, um, I got to tell you about this book that I got. It's a, called a kakebo and it's a Japanese word. I think it means ledger, but it's a way of tracking, uh, a mindful way of tracking what you spend, um, in a really neat, simple Japanese way of tracking and budgeting so you can save for the things that you want. But in any case, so the other night, I want to say what's today, Saturday. So this would have been Thursday going into Friday. I couldn't sleep. So I was researching different types of ways to track expenses on YouTube. And there's lots of good videos out there, but a lot of them are very, um, they're not like super complicated, but it's just more involved than I wanted it to be. So I wasn't real inspired. And uh, anyhow, so... I came across this, it just popped up, and um, I can't remember the lady's name, but she has this exact book, and so I decided to give it a try, and I think she was, I think she, it was an American YouTube channel, um, but anyway, so what's interesting is, um, this kind of reminds me of the the tracking system that Kate Caden uses, uses on her channel, where it's budgeted into four categories, and I thought, I can handle that, because that's really simple. I can keep it with me in my bag. I can track as I spend and then kind of get an idea of where my money's going. I don't overspend. I've never overspent, but I don't know, you know, how much I'm spending in each category. So anyway, I got this book. There's tons of different cockable books online. They're spelled this way or sometimes they spell it with an I. So K-A-K-E-I-B-O. But this book is really good. It's designed to last you... How long is it supposed to last? I think it's supposed to be for two years, but as I recall, the lady that I saw on YouTube said it's good for a year. So I guess it just depends on how much you spend, really. Um, but it's a good little book. It's about the size, I want to say it's about the size of an A5, maybe a little stubbier, maybe between an A5 and a B6. But it's a, it's a good size that you could probably carry around with you. Um, well, you could for sure could carry with you in your purse. And I, um, I've i seen people make these on their own. So you can certainly make this in your own journal notebook once you get the hang of the basic principles. But in any case, let me show you. This is so cute. So you get the book. It's the Japanese Art of Mindful Spending. And it gives you a good introduction in the beginning. It tells you what kakebo is. And it's the pronounced kakebo, which literally means household accounts book. So in Japan, everyone uses a kakebo. Even little children are given their own specially designed books. At home and in school, they learn to record their income and expenses. I think that's fantastic. We should adopt that in this country for sure. Um, there's reasons to use kakebo for organization control, savings, discipline, and confidence. This is where it breaks down the four categories. So it breaks it down into the categories of essential expenses and some breakdowns from that. Optional expenses, entertainment and literature, or excuse me, entertainment and leisure, which could include literature and extras and unforeseen events. Um, in the other videos that you see from other countries, I think they call the extra expenses or entertainment and leisure. I think they call that cultural. They have a different label for that, which we thought was kind of interesting. But anyhow, <coughs> excuse me. So the first section always starts out with the monthly budget. Um, you track your monthly income and spending, your fixed expenses, your goals, how much do you want to save and what you need to, you know, what you've got and, and all that. So it gives you a lot of tips on how an instruction on how to use each category for the monthly setup. And then you have your weekly expenses. So they give you five of these because there's some months that have five weeks in a month to, or in other months you only have four. But it shows you how to track expenses. So the orange is for the essential expenses, the green is for optional, pink 
is for entertainment and leisure. I think that's the one that other countries call cultural expenses and then extras and unforeseen events. So I think those are wants. I think they call those wants. So um, it shows you how, gives you an example how to record everything each day of the week and then to tally your totals at the end of the week. You do that every week and then you drop a balance sheet at the end of each month and check all your expenses. And then there's some tips and tricks for spending, which I thought was interesting. Um, this one I thought was really good because it says every time you're tempted to buy something and you don't know whether it will be useful, think about what you want and then wait 30 days and ask yourself if that purchase is still important to you. Most of the time, your desire for it will fade and you'll be glad you saved the money. So I, I wait usually at least 72 hours before I make big purchases for things that I want but don't necessarily need. And, and even longer than that, honestly, um, except for this, I knew I wanted this right away. And so it gives you some really good, just basic common sense tips and tricks for saving money and spending. And honestly, a lot of this stuff reminds me of things that my grandmother taught me. And she grew up during the Great Depression. So she was, uh, she would have been a teenager when the Great Depression hit. And so her formative years, you know, it's all about this. So here's some more tips which I thought was funny car pooling pay off your credit cards every month pay cash keep your receipts save energy different things you can do to save money that don't have to do with actually pulling out your debit card or pulling out cash but this helps you save nonetheless so this is the this is how it starts this is your month at a glance you write the month in here this is your income when you get paid how much you get paid um, your fixed expenses, goals and forecasts. So which expenses do you plan to cut to save money? How can you reach your goals? How much do you what, want to save this month? How much money do you have available? Income, fixed expenses, minus forecast savings, cash available. And then here's your weekly. And you get one, two, three, four, five. You get five weeks to look at and then you've got your summary of monthly expenses and here so this is super cool and honestly i don't know why we were never taught to use one of these in school i think this is fantastic because money really is common sense and this teaches you how to spend when you need and not to spend based on emotions or whatever but um, I needed something that was simple, and I like this because it breaks it down into four categories. And so um, when I was researching videos online and looking for other books on Amazon, surprisingly, on my Amazon, a lot of the books were in French and Spanish. Um, and then on YouTube, a lot of the channels uh, that I found that were Spanish. I found a couple German channels, which I thought was cool. I'm going to check those out just for my German language skill. Um, I didn't, I don't think I saw any in Japanese. There's a couple American channels, but most of them were foreign channels from other countries talking about Kakibo notebooks. One lady that I really liked, she, I think she was from, she was either Australian or, um, British, and I thought she was really cool. But anyway, this is my little Kakibo finance ledger tracker. I'm super excited to try this out. Um, I don't know how much I will share online because there's certain things I like to keep personal in terms of my spending. But I'm looking forward to this just to get an idea of where my money's going. Because no matter how much or how little you make, you can do something to save. There's You can always do something there's always something you can do, even if it's not as much as other people, you can always save somewhere. So I'm enjoying my little notebook and maybe I'll do a review in a month and kind of see, maybe I'll talk about how much I've saved. I feel comfortable doing that. Um, I don't know about if I'll show the actual numbers for what I spend or where I spend it, but we'll see. Anyway, check it out and look at, I got this on Amazon. I ordered it on Friday and it came today. So it's a cute little book and um, research Kakebo on YouTube. You can spell K-A-K-E-B-O or you can also do K-A-K-E-I-B-O. 
um, and you'll find all kinds of information. It's really neat. And I think uh, we as Americans should get into this. This is super simple. All right. Love you guys. Have a good one.